Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. So right now, we want to continue with uh, the testimony of the new anointing water though, but this is a, a different version. So we are going to listen to their testimony right now. So sir, please introduce yourselves and share with us your wonderful testimony. Okay, my name is Demiari Green, and um, right behind me, uh, right by my side is my dear sister, Mrs. Kate Ozo. After her, you have uh, my son, Mike, and uh, the next one is also my son, Dabo Belema Demiari. And we are here to really confirm a testimony that had been running in our lives. Um, sometime last year, I wanted to do a project at Calaba, a building project that is a, a mini estate project at Calabar, so I sent my sister, she is based at Calabar, to actually take over that project and run it completely. Halfway to that project, some hoodlum came in and kidnapped her and uh, took her off down, down, northern part of Cross River State, where they held her captive. But before she was able to get down there, she, was, she sent me a, a quick mail a quick note on, the, on her cell phone because they didn't have her cell phone they locked her in the boat so with that I had not, we were all confused tried to call everybody call the, all the security agencies, nothing then suddenly a friend said ah, Demiari Green, you're a member of the synagogue what's happening, do you have a, a anointed water? I said yes I do, I use, I do so I took that anointed water picked up her phone on, um, her picture on my pad then started praying over it. We did that throughout the night. Then I said, well, that's the best I could do. Then suddenly, at about 10 o'clock, 11, 10 o'clock, yes, I got a call from one of the sons that uh, she had escaped. Then that had been that. So the army people went and rescued her finally. So... The, what they were telling her that on Monday, because that happened on a Saturday, so on Monday, she escaped on Sunday. So on Monday, they were supposed to demand a ransom of 20 million naira from me. So with that, we started thanking God. And I told her what I did. She's not a member here. So I told her what I did. And I said, please, let's come and share this with God and share this with all the congregations so that they can see how much God is working. So we have given that testimony. So we had the privilege after that to meet a man of God and who told us that, um, don't worry, you go away. Don't be afraid that everything shall be well and that those people who have perpetrated this act will be caught. And he gave five days. In the, on the fourth day, they were caught. So that was it. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So with that, I told her I'm no longer interested in the project. She should discontinue. In short, I asked her to sell it off. Whatever anybody who can offer anything, sell it off. Because she's a mother of six with her whole family. And what could have happened? So she said, no. The God that delivered her will see her through. I said, no, please, I beg you. You are my sister. You're married. Your family. You have a family. Please, I do not want. She said, no. She's going to insist. And uh, I said, I discussed everything. I said, well, she, let the will of God prevail. She went ahead and finally completed the project. Okay, when you left here, when you left here, you said uh, the man of God gave you that word of prophecy when you met him that you shouldn't worry, you should go ahead and that, um, that even those who perpetrated that evil, that uh, kidnapped your sister, were going to be caught. And within the number of days, the man of God said they were caught. And uh, you had told your sister that you should forget about the project, that you should not continue. Okay, when you went back, what did you do um, with the 
anointing water and the other items spiritual items that you received okay after that we we were given stickers we are giving the anointing water so i flew with her back to calabar so with that strength i went we spread the whole houses called all the workers and we told them i said if any of you have a hand in this you definitely have the dividend to enjoy and if any of you conspire with others definitely you will have the result the high escape is miracle and this house shall be completed in jesus name and we all spray the anointed water all the surrounding in all the building in all the materials that were left there then i left and i asked her let the god of synagogue continue to lead you through and that was the result we have to show for today and today so this is just the just a part of the project it's quite a big project but just this is just the first part of that project so it is completed now completed completely and we have to give god the glory because if he is not his intervention everything would have been frustrated we wouldn't have had a project we would have succumbed to the antics of the devil and the enemy and lucifer thank god that we were able to overcome and we continue to give glory to god for that amen let us put our hands together for jesus christ so we thank god almighty for everything and uh, we'd like to hear uh, from your sister as well so let's hear from you tell us your name and your testimony Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Kate Ozo. My name is Mrs. Kate Ozo. I'm from Anambra State. The person beside me is my brother. And what he said is actually what happened. Because he used to worship here. So when they kidnapped me, he told me he was spraying the anointed water in my picture that he was having, calling God of Synagogue to deliver me wherever they have taken me to and God did it because it was a miracle I couldn't understand how it happened because as they tied me there I didn't know how the door opened and I was having urge to uh, jump through the window and escape so we came here 20th of April last year and gave a testimony and we met man of God and man of God prayed for us and told me I should not fear because by then if you, if you just burn a door I would be scared anything was making me scared so he told me I should remove the fear of scare from me that is going to be well with me that those people that kidnapped me they will be caught and they were caught so I give God the glory shall we clap for Jesus Christ and your brother has just said that uh, after that time after you met with the man met the man of god and he blessed you with the uh, anointing water and pray with you and prophesied um, concerning your captors your captors then you you insisted that the project must continue what gave you that boldness because i met the man of god and the man of god have assured me i should go nothing is going to happen to me so my when my brother was saying he wants to say the project, he's scared, so my husband will not come and say, because of this project, they have now killed a wife, and I told him no. As far as I've seen the man of God want to warn, and you're giving me his word that I'm going to complete the project, and we completed it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus one more time. Now tell us, after you went back and ministered the anointing water uh, in the site, in building sites and prayed, tell us, did you was there any harassment was there any threat was there anything after that till you completed the project when we were man of god gave us anointed water free gave us some book to read so me and my brother flew to calabar we now sprayed anointed water in all the rooms the doors the gates everywhere people were even scared of me now they said ah they don't know they don't know they, they cannot even come closer to me by the grace of god because they feel that i have taken power from synagogue that i'm here because we have to place the sticker in the gate in the doors everywhere in the house so when they say i say don't go there or oh, they are from synagogue oh, don't just go there so now i can go there freely before i cannot even go to the side because of fear but now i can go there pack my car do whatever i want to do and drive up and nobody come near me mm. hallelujah we give glory to god almighty 
And now, what word of advice you have for people who are listening to this testimony and particularly concerning the new anointing water? What I have to say is that we should believe in this anointed water because it works. Even in my business place, sometimes I don't sell. I will say, no, what am I doing? My, my anointed water is in my back. I will bring it out. I spray in my shop. I say, God, I'm going to say, God of synagogue, come to my aid. You will see, within 10, 15 minutes, customers will be coming to my shop. So there is power in this anointed water. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So let's also hear from you. What's your word of advice to people? Yeah, my advice is that what people are giving testimonies and confirming are real. And I'm a testimonial of these events. So nobody should delude us with the fact that these things is not real. I can give testimony anywhere in the world to testify that, that what is happening here is real. And we will invite everybody who wants to try that to come over here and see for himself. What is going on here is real. And real, real. And it's not a play. Thank you very much. So let us clap for Jesus Christ. And we see some two gentlemen with you. Tell us who they are to you. Yeah, these are my kids. Uh, this is my son, Mike. And uh, uh, my other son, Dabo Belema. So they were away when this thing happened. They were all in colleges. So they were away when this thing happened. And when they heard about it, they were agitating. They said they want to come. They want to come. They want to come. Mm -hmm. And since then, um, it doesn't matter how long they stay. Initially, they were a little bit resentment. But when they see all that that is going on, they said, no, never. So we'll leave our house very early from where we are coming in and uh, definitely we'll fly in every time and they are ready to come with me. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce témoignage de cette famille. Ce monsieur dont la sœur a été kidnappée et était détenu par ses bourreaux. Il dit qu'il a administré l'eau d'onction sur sa photo et a prié. Et la nuit vers 22h, il a reçu un appel comme quoi sa sœur s'était échappée. L'année dernière, ils étaient arrivés ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu. Et ils ont eu l'opportunité de rencontrer l'homme de Dieu qui a prophétisé dans leur vie et a dit à cette dame que ceux qui l'avaient kidnappé seront arrêtés dans cinq jours. Et par la grâce de Dieu, en quatre jours après la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, ces kidnappeurs ont été arrêtés. Et aussi, euh, l'homme de Dieu a eu à lui dire euh, qu'elle avait, euh, avait un projet de construction, qu'elle avait eu peur de continuer et elle craignait beaucoup. Et l'homme de Dieu lui a dit de ne pas craindre car euh, tout est sous contrôle de Dieu. Il lui a donné l'eau d'onction et l'autocollant en un qu'elle est partie. Elle a mis l'eau d'onction sur le chantier et par la grâce de Dieu, elle a terminé en toute beauté son, son projet de construction. Ils sont ici pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu, de les avoir sauvés des situations difficiles et aussi de les avoir bénis à travers cette eau d'onction. To God be glory, and we want to encourage you with these words. Uh, now that God Almighty has shown his power, his mercy, and grace upon your lives, make the word of God the standard for your life. The word of God is the special weapon which he has given us that Satan cannot withstand, that no power of evil can withstand. As you continue to trust in his word and walk in his ways, more testimonies are coming in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let us clap for Jesus. www.goan.org Go to the Visitors page 
and for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click Send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us.